brands stopped caring and asking their customers about what they wanted out of the relationship with the brand. I think the most important thing, and this is what we look for when we're talking with clients, is understanding this idea that attitudes drive actions. That if you want to understand the behaviors of your customers, you need to move beyond the actual behaviors and move upstream and understand what are the attitudes that actually inform and influence those behaviors. We need to understand that the what they buy from you can and often is trumped by the why. The why is more human. It's about the purpose you play in their lives. What you sell is different than what your customers buy. And the quicker you get into the buyer mindset and perspective, you should see yourself and your brand in a very different light than you do if you're only in the seller mode. As much as 95% of purchase decisions are made subconsciously, led by emotions, and then rationalized after the fact. I find all too many companies and organizations are very brand-centric. It's about what they want to give their customers as opposed to what the customers want out of them. The most engaged audiences spend six times more time on branded web and social properties, click on nine times more brand advertisements, spend 76 times more on online advertised products and services, and are six times more likely to increase their monthly in-store purchase with a brand. It's good to understand what engagement looks like at a moment in time. It's better to measure it time after time so you can understand the impact of the actions you take to improve it. The moment that those uh, issues happen, the moment that there's a, a tide or a turn for the worse, that's when brands need to listen with a more emotional ear and understand what are people really looking for in a relationship with anybody, with people, with brands, with not-for-profits, with their employers, and how can you address and deliver some of those things to keep them fully engaged.